All right. Hello there. I have Kathy DeBras joining me. She is the VP of Marketing and Engagement at ArtsWave. Hi, Kathy. Hey, Molly. How are you doing? I'm doing great. How have you been? Doing well. Nice well. to see that we're getting good weather and the arts are starting up outside. So all is good. Yes, we're all getting vaccinated. We can do fun things again, which is yeah. very exciting. So, um, which speaking of, you all over at ArtsWave have a massive uh, fun showcase happening this summer. Enjoy, uh, enjoy the arts at parks. What is this? Tell us all about it. So this is, is really a fun series, or we're finding it is. It's, it's absolutely as fun for us to be able to offer it up. Uh, with the help of Macy's that has been really funding our campaign event series for more than 15 years. So uh, let me tell you how this works. Enjoy the Arts at Parks, presented by Macy's, is an um, eight-month or um, eight-concert series that started last month, and we were at uh, Davu Park, and it is the last Saturday of the month, And uh, so we are coming across on uh, April 24th. We're going to have our second event. It is all outdoor concerts and happens uh, Saturday afternoons from one to five. And so you get all kinds of performances. We're also uh, really excited to have a lot of black and brown artists. Uh, We've met a lot of them through some of the artist relief that we were able to administer So that's kind of cool, too. So anyway, uh, to tell you about the concert that's coming up, since we all want to mark it on our calendars, April 24th, 1 to 5, we're going to have an afternoon of live theater. So how cool is that? Because we're not at the point yet. We can all get together at all our favorite theaters. So we're bringing it outside. So we've got the uh, afternoon will start off at one and we're going to have Cincinnati Shakespeare Company and they're going to present a whole new version of Julius Caesar. And that is never have they done that outside. So we're going to be able to um, to see what that's like, which seems pretty cool. And then uh, they'll finish up and we'll have a little bit of a break. And then at three thirty the Children's Theater of Cincinnati is going to program and also program for the first time Martin's Dream outside. So that's all about the life of Dr. Martin Luther King and really takes from birth all the way until his death and all of the amazing things he accomplished. And we'll be able to to watch and uh, engage in that. And then kind of a fun thing, because, you know, we in Cincinnati all work together, which is so appropriate because we couldn't have these arts without the community coming and giving to the Archwave campaign, a tradition that's over 70 years old in doing. Um, so I, I was thinking, you know, would it be really cool to get a, a food truck? So Dreamy Whip, which is in Burlington, which is where the park is local food truck that has great ice cream and more is going to come and be there too. So yeah, it should just be, I think a lot of fun. Um, We had an incredible time last time we had three groups and there were kids playing and people were really good. Um, They would stay in their small groups, but plenty of room to spread out. So everybody can do this safely. We bring the masks. So, um, you know, I think it, it's, it's a good time for everyone, and it's just an exciting time, you know, because we're starting to see the arts happen. Yes, I love it. So a uh, couple questions. This might sound kind of silly, but with how things have been for a long time now, do people need to make reservations or anything to go to arts at the parks? Um, probably the easiest thing, just so we'll know, um, is if you could go to Facebook, and, and type in enjoy the arts at parks. Um, and then you can just say, yes, I'm planning to come or maybe I'm planning to come. That just gives us a feel for whether you can join us, okay. which is great. But if you want more information, if you go to artswave.org slash parks, you'll get the whole lineup. Um, so like I said, we were before at Davu Park 
which was uh, working with the, the city of Covington. And now of course we're at Boone County Parks or Boone Woods Parks. And then after that, we're gonna be uh, with great parks of Hamilton County. They have us all over the region. So we're gonna be at uh, Sharon Woods and then at Glenwood Gardens, and then we'll be at Woodland Mound Park, uh, Miami Whitewater Forest. So we'll just be all over the place. So uh, it's kind of a fun way too to um, get you know, a taste of all the incredible parks we have across the region. And we also thought that that was kind of cool because it's a reminder that when you're giving to ArtsWave, you're funding the arts throughout 15 counties that make up the greater Cincinnati area, which includes Kentucky and, of course, Ohio, but also a part of Indiana. So uh, we wanted to have parks everywhere. So that's what you you have. Also, too, if you have given to ArtsWave in the past and you give 10% or more, or if you're new to giving to ArtsWave, um, you are able to get uh, this really kind of neat benefit. We call it uh, Team Cincinnati and Enjoy the Arts at Parks, meaning what you get is the um, behind the scene and exclusive experiences at the Reds, at FC Cincinnati, and then you get a year long pass to Great Parks of Hamilton County, which if you've ever um, been to the Great Parks, you pay for a motor vehicle permit and it's good for a year long. So that's on us with your gift. So that's kind of a fun way to experience the parks whenever you want, because they're, they're fabulous parks. You know, whether you like to kayak, which I love to do, or you like to hike, or you just want to have a picnic with the family. So you can go back. Um, all throughout 2021. Oh, that's fantastic. So uh, enjoy the arts at parks and you can go to artswave.org for more info on that. I was just checking out your website. It's pretty easy to find. So I want to uh, talk a little bit more. I thought this was pretty cool to mention. Cincinnati is in the running for best city for street art. Wow. Yes, it is. I know it was just announced. Uh, and so far we're in second place out of 20. So that's huge. So we're trying to rally everyone. Go vote for Cincinnati. We have the link up on our q and two Facebook page. Um, so it kind of brings me to my next question. Street art in our city right now, Kathy, what's your favorite? Is there one coming up you love or something right now you're enjoying? I don't have a favorite. Um, there is, I know there's some street art that's coming up that hasn't yet been announced and super cool. I'll just say it's on a street that has a whole lot of street art right now. So maybe your listeners can guess about that. Not sure I can say I have a favorite because there is really so much that is happening in the area. Um, just to some things too, Molly, for everybody to know. Uh, last year, we uh, were, Cincinnati was selected as one of the most culturally um, active and vibrant communities within the nation, which is huge. We're not the 20th largest city. So to even to be on that list was a, a Big, um, you know, kudos to Cincinnati and uh, again to all the people who helped to contribute to our art scene. Uh, we're also one of the most engaged communities in our arts. Seven. Okay. Yeah. With meaning people that get out and enjoy the arts or they actually make art. So that's kind of a cool uh, statistic too. Another place where Cincinnati really shines. It really is. I mean, we love our art here in Cincinnati, uh, which also I wrote down some about this. Blink, of course, we know is happening. Uh, are any artists, you know, are any artists preparing for Blink just yet? I know we have some time, but it's a lot of work. So Blink is, um, their, their plans on what's to happen with Blink. And um, as you, you probably have heard, the mayor was, was talking about wanting to have some funding for Blink. Uh, a lot of that needs to be sort of more formalized. So I think you're going to see things coming down the way. But, um, you know, stay tuned for that. Wow, that's exciting. Yeah, I know Cincinnati is thrilled Blink is coming back. So, uh, okay, Kathy, was there anything else you wanted to add before we hop off here? Well, just if, if your listeners, if they haven't had a chance, we are in the midst of the campaign. We do this annually. And so this is that time of year. If you haven't made your gift to Arts Wave, uh, you know, we appreciate any and all donations to, because we don't have taxes or levies. It's all of us deciding to give. So 
if uh, listeners want to go ahead and make a gift, it's artswave.org slash give. And what's cool when you give to Artswave, it's cumulative in terms of donor benefits. So the more you give, the more arts activities and events you enjoy. So like at $150, you, you can, uh, or more, you can go to the new icon center that is, you see it right there by the banks. And that'll be pretty cool. Um, and you'll be able to, to have a tour of it. Uh, at $250, you're going to be able to, I'm sure you've seen over in Walnut Hills, I think that's, a, or Eden Park, I'm not sure exactly where that's concerned, I guess it's Walnut Hills, the new ballet uh, dance center. So that's kind of a neat thing that you get at that level. Um, of course, at $75, you get an Arts Wave Pass, which has a whole Arts for Wellness series attached to it this year, which is just perfect for all of us as we're trying to kind of keep healthy and happy and hopeful throughout this kind of strange year. So uh, just lots of sort of little gifts that we give everybody because we're honestly so thankful that the community I mean, truly tens of thousands come together and decide to give to Arts Wave every year. So thank you to all your listeners for what they do to make our arts as strong as they can be. We do support, support the, arts. the arts. And like you said, we are known for it here. So we've got to keep it vibrant and alive and amazing. Uh, artswave.org to donate again. Kathy DeBras, the VP of Marketing and Engagement at Arts Wave. Thank you so much, Kathy. This was great. And if you'd like to enjoy the arts at parts this summer, go check out the website. I'm thrilled about this. So uh, I think I was telling you off here at one point, I live right around the corner from Gugu Park and I grew up going to Boone Woods Park. So it's, it's kind of cool. I'm like, oh, this is neat. Parks I'm very familiar with. And I love that we help out Northern Kentucky as well. That really means a lot. Yeah. Well, I hope you can join us, Molly. I'm excited. Thank you so much, Kathy. It was so great chatting with you. Yeah, it was wonderful.